Welcome to Toffee TV. It is a daily live extra. It is being reported Everton are set to bring in a potential backup for left back or left wing back Ruben Vinagri from Sporting Lisbon, previously been with Wolves. Uh, lots of loan moves here, there, and everywhere. Um, yes. Interesting one, Baz. Interesting one. Mm -hmm. Strange one. Strange one. Do we think this is, if it comes off, this will be the end of Niles and Kunku at Everton? You'd think so, wouldn't you? He's got about 11 months left. Um, didn't feature at Blackpool at the weekend. Played in the other two. But, um, yeah, if they're bringing in someone on loan with a view to a permanent deal, which is mad because Sporting Lisbon have literally just bought them. Yeah three weeks ago or something um, then you would it would suggest his days are numbered mm. 11 so bit of a strange one but if they don't feel he's up to it then this lad's got Premier League experience played 35 games I think for Wolves if they feel like he's a, de he's a better backup and he can get him on loan to pad the squad out and have a look at him then Fair play. Well, it gives cover then, doesn't it? Um, all, we've got cover all along the back line then, mm. essentially. Um, competitive cover where there's seen in Kunku last week against Minnesota. And he's just Positioning he's just all over the place, isn't he? He's just, he's just you know, yeah, he needs... He, he looks more like a, he's like a winger, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he needs... He needs um, he needs more games, and I don't think he's defensive enough to play that position. I don't think he gets forward well enough to to play as a wing back either. So they're obviously looking at it like that alone. Wages seem to be relatively low, mm. uh, according to reports. As you mentioned, he's got Premier League experience. Um, he played, Twenty-three, good age. Yeah, played for Sport in Lisbon last season on loan, wasn't he? They've just got him on a free, so they're looking to make some money on him straight away. So good business from there, from there, from their end of things. But interesting one, I think he's. Probably a better wing back maybe than he is a left back. Mm. So that's again, if we're playing three at the back, that suggests an another option rather than just being you know one having one player like we did last for the second half of last season. Um, well, for both halves really, with just one one left back having some cover there, proper cover, mm. and having some competition. Obviously, very important. It's not the position we want filled right now, but if there's a if there's a chance to bring him in, then. Get it done. Eight point five million he paid for. Who did? Sporting Lisbon. Did he? Thought they got him on a free. Took him on loan with the option to make it permanently, according to. Okay. Which is a bit strange because Everton are looking to get him on loan with an option to buy. Which yeah. Is a weird. That's according to a couple of reports here, but um, but yeah, you know he's played in the Champions League. He's played at Family Cow, as well on loan. Um. Played a couple of games for Olympiacos. So, he was at Wolves for five years. Um, they're from Monaco at a young age, of mm. course. And did okay, so... Listen, it's not... It's it's a it's a mad one, this, because... You, I can understand why they did it. But it's not what we need at the moment. No. We need... You know, we need a midfield player in. We need a, a forward player in. Um, it, you know, near, at the end of the day, if he's if you're sitting around and you think, yeah, you know, we need we need this player, you know, could do with an extra player at left back or whatever. That's fine if you've got everything else that you need. But right now, Everton need players who are going to come in and be in the first team. And yeah. this fella's not getting in over Michalenko, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although you know maybe you know it's not always a case of whether he's getting in in front of him, is it? It's a case of sometimes with the amount of games in the Premier League um, and fatigue and everything. It's a case of needing needing your backups and, mm -hmm. and 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 obviously with the sub situation this season as well. And if we are playing wing backs and it being a a, a prominent position for in the in attacking sense. We do need, we will need cover, won't we? We will need someone. Yeah, oh, okay, of course. Yeah. We'll need replacements to come onto the pitch, and 
if this if a deal has just presented itself, then um, we might as well get it sorted because at least then the back line is covered. You mm. know, every position then is covered. You know, um, rather than you know, rather than waiting and think and him, him if the opportunity is has arisen and we've got an opportunity to bring him in and just bring him in. Of course, we still need those other positions, but at the moment they they're obviously harder to sort out than than this than mm. the other positions because they're more. They are the starters. They are. They do require money. This obviously doesn't require anything other than us paying the wages. And mm. at this moment, so um, and as I said, I haven't seen Nas and Kunku. I just don't think he's. I just don't think he's anywhere near the level. To be honest, I just think he's. I just think he's. He's a bit of a mess. To be honest, quite quite. It's fra- when you watch him, you just his positional sense. He said it's just all over the place. He doesn't follow his runners. Gets turned quite easy for me as well. So. I can understand why they'd be looking for a proper backup um, for the year, and I said with it being on loan as well, it's it's low risk. Um, so we'll see what happens, and ho- we've just got to hope that in the next couple of weeks or the next week or so, we start pushing on with those those positions to actually play in the team if we can get any, anyone done. But those uh, there's not there's not much out there at the moment. Is there's just 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 a lot of rumours. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so Evan know what they need. It's, get, it's getting them in. Is the problem, isn't it? When you've got to be creative with the budget, mm. it's difficult, isn't it? Oh, obviously, as a fan, it's horrible, it's frustrating. You see another team strengthening all over the place. Mm. It's frustrating. Um, Shiv says, "From a Wolves fan, get ready for more step overs than mm. an Olympic hurler." There you go. Um, yeah. Uh, Glenn says, Baz only. You said Billy Gilmore isn't what we need in midfield. Surely he improves the midfield and we need more than one midfielder. We can't afford any one player that would improve our midfield. It's just lightweight, Glenn. That's That's my thinking. I'm saying he's not a good footballer because clearly he is, but he's just lightweight. So if you think he's good, you know, fine. I'm not saying he wouldn't be. I just, for me, it's not the type of profile I'd be going after. Mm. Um, but we might just have to take what we can get. Same with Ross Barkley. We might just have to take what we can get, whether people want him or not. So I don't think Billy Gilmore is anywhere near good enough. Mm. This is a lad who couldn't get in the Norwich side. This is a lad who's been relegated to the under twenty threes of Chelsea. This why I I honor, you. There's just too many. This is one of those players again that people just see a name and go, oh, he plays for Chelsea, yeah. blah blah blah. He's, he's, he's like Tom Davis. He's just he's a dead small lightweight kid who's got nothing about him at all. He's got good feet and stuff, but why did he not play for Norwich? Mm. Well, under two managers, why did he not play for Norwich? Yeah, yeah. he's not good enough. No. And the idea that he'll come into our team and suddenly transform it as a number six is nonsense. It's just people grabbing at stuff because he's something new, he's new. and something yeah. different and he's not the same old, same old and, and we can get him. Why is he still at Chelsea? Why has nobody else took him? Mm. Nobody. Yeah, why have none of the teams them, yeah. who've come up, why haven't Fulham gone, oh, get him because he's only down the road. Mm. Nobody's touched this lad. Why? With, a, with, a, with 10 days, 11 days till the season starts, why has nobody touched this lad? Because he's not good enough. It's as simple as that. Right now, he's not good enough. Mm. And all that would happen is he'd come to us, and very, very quickly it'd be established he wasn't good enough, and he'd go on the bench, People and that'd be few. it. And that'd People be it. Few. Just because you're linked with players, and just because we're desperate for players, doesn't mean you should get that player. You've got to be prepared to say no, not good enough. Because mm. because th- far too many times in the past we've been, we've gone, oh, we'll get him because we need that. And you end up with dross that you carry for the year. And the team that you've got them off just laughs the tits off. Go on, yeah, it's your problem now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Trevor says you can't escape the fact we need numbers in as well as priorities. Mm. Yeah, well, there you go. The vinegar might be one of them. Um, Danny says he's decent on footy manager that's the only input I have on this one Brian says 
uh, Vinegray may be the man for all seasons. I mean seasons. You never know. Um, Richard says, afternoon, gentlemen. And Ned, lovely to see you back in Blighty. The trip looked like a great one. Ruben Vin- Vinagri. Hey, wonder who he used to play for. It is like Kevin Thelwell. It's just like, oh, I'll, you know, I've seen him at Wolves. I'll just have a little look. Isn't it? That's how it seems right now with the links we've got. But if he knows him and he can, knows he's a good character, knows he's a decent footballer, then mm. why not? Uh, Anthony Stubbs says, can he play up front? If not, what's the point? Uh, Tom says, can I get your opinion on this? Because it baffles me. Why did the media talk about Frank as this joke manager and fans of other clubs vote him the worst coach in the Prem? Got Derby into a playoff final, finished fourth with Chelsea with a transfer ban after selling Hazard. Kept Everton up. I'm not saying he's great. And he's defo the answer for us because he still has to prove himself. But obviously he's done well in his job so far. It's a weird narrative. Do you find it weird? Yeah, I do find it weird that he's that he's um Yeah, I do find it weird how he's how he's looked upon when he's a reasonably decent coach. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't think he's I don't think he's amazing. He's done nothing to prove he's amazing. But I do think he's a decent young coach who's just like who's just going up, going along his business and, and has been at three three clubs in as as was mentioned there, in different degrees of trouble to be fair to mm. all of them at the times he was mm. with them and I do think the I do think a lot of it is a hangover from the fact that he he, he was with England and 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 he is one of these managers who've um probably some people feel has been given say you know given been given things on a plate mm. and he d- I, he did make mistakes when he first came into Everton, as far as I'm concerned. But I also don't th- believe that people understand or don't want to believe the level we were when he came in. It's it's all about narratives, isn't it? Create, a lot of people in the press created this narrative that Benitez hadn't done too bad of a job. Mm. And therefore, and then Frank Lampard hadn't done anything extra. Or uh, when, when the reality was the club was on the floor and Lampard tried to pick it up and it, it mm. took a while because he couldn't quite get to grips or didn't quite understand. There's a lot. Do you know what? You know what? You you hear quite a lot. I've noticed this from people in and around Everton is that you hear people go, I didn't realise how bad it was. Mm. Like, I've heard that quite a few times. Didn't realise how bad it was. Didn't realise how bad it was at the club. Didn't realise how bad this was, that was, the other. You hear that quite a lot when it comes to Everton. Like, like whoever selling them the job isn't quite telling them everything they need to know about whether the finances or whatever. You, oh, Benita, you Benita thought, said the same thing, didn't mm. he? he? Said he said the same thing. He said I didn't quite realize how bad the situation was. Mm. So clearly, someone's not telling the full story. Um, and Frank's been a victim of that in some way. And I think it all comes down to when the you know narratives that are put out in the press. You know, people who want to protect other people reputations make sure you say make sure you say this fella's doing bad to make the, the last fella look a little bit better or whatever so it is a it is a weird one when other people get away with um get away with quite a lot um yeah <clears throat> proof will be more in the pudding next season but again i think it, it's it, it's a case of letting some people get away with um all kinds, and then put shifting the blame onto other people. Certainly at Everton, so we'll see what happens with that this season. But look at look at the situation so far. You know, one free transfer. You know, <laughs> Frank oh, yeah. Frank Lampard's having to work with 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 without his best player, the player who yeah, it, done the most for him, and he's working with one extra centre back. It is crazy, and you're asking him to take Everton up another level or, or certainly get away from that area when everybody else is buying players you know not in Forest they're buying the 12th player now I'm not saying any of them are any good but the money they're spending because they, because they can because they've come into the Premier League is you know that's that's really difficult to com- to compete with now they, those 12 might get at them up to, to the level Everton are now but obviously that squad wise they're going to have a lot of players and you know, Fulham has spent money, and and Southampton are spending 
money in a in a different kind of way and in, in an interesting kind of way. But everyone's spending money, and Everton are just sitting there. And Frank Lampard must be just, you know, people are having a go with him. It's like, well, I can't look. He's got his hands tied behind his back practically. What well, do you think he's a good coach or not? He's got his hands tied behind his back because mm-hmm. he's working with one less creative player, and his task is for Everton to score more goals. That's that, you know, and then people are putting it at his door. No, nah, that's mad, that. That's mm-hmm. strange situation. That that's all narrative, sir. I don't know, but I don't know, but I generally don't know who's got it in for him. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know who's got it in for Seen him. Seen it yesterday. Some just like I didn't read it because I couldn't be asked, but I was just seen the thing of like Lampard's out of his depth at Everton, and he should move for a, another coach. You know, he's just like, what the? F- where's this come from? Hmm. You know, where's this madness come from? Yeah, Gerard's amazing. I don't like the both average coaches. That's hmm. the way it is. Weird, dead weird. Uh, Simon says hello, guys and Pete. Travelling to Florida in November on Aer Lingus was the food any good on the flights? Yeah, I thought it was sound. Yeah, nice. I haven't flown um, to America for five years, so mm-hmm. it was a little bit like obviously in years gone by. It, 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 oh, I almost felt like when you were on when you were going to America, like you were fed every five minutes. Yeah, but on yeah. this thing, we only really got fed once and then, then we got a snack later on. We got on. a snack, yeah. And that's, it, I used to think like the trolley just came up and down all the time. It but did, uh, on fair, didn't it? Yeah, it does yeah. a bit more. But and it was only a small, smallish plane, mm. wasn't it? It's only the... They only fly on them now. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No, no. They stopped the jumbo, so it's like the Airbus. But it was sound. Pause and watch all your films. <laughs> You know, your food and all that's free. You've got to buy your drink, which is slightly different from alcohol. Drink. And alcohol, but your, your soft drinks and that are free. They ran out of cups for hot drinks, so we only got one hot drink. And then on the way, on the way home, they went out the past the pilots put the seatbelt light on, so we can't save any hot drinks. Yeah, 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 yeah but um, but no, they were fine. They were fine. Mm. Uh, Jake says, could Miko play left side of a back three? Why would we want to move him now? To accommodate vinegar, come on, mate. Bobby says, uh, "Will you lads be travelling to Australia?" Don't know yet, mate. Hmm. Couldn't think at this moment in time. I couldn't think of anything worse. Um, Tom says it just seems Thelwell getting the body in. Don't think he's good enough to move Michalenko or be sufficient enough to provide cover. Struggled every time he stepped up a level. Be surprised if Evan pay eight million at the end of the season. Really frustrate Martin Evans' recruitment as reports just show uh, who the director of football manager no personally. Welcome back anyway, lads. Great videos in the mm. US tour. Nice one, Tom. Uh, Lou says, was told a few months ago that if he went for Barkley, it would be completely against Lampard's wishes. Do you think that's still the case or maybe he's realised how poor we are in midfield and that he probably would improve us? I I don't think anything at the moment. I don't think Evan have gone for him. I think his agents will be trying to get him here because he's quite clearly shape to requirements of Chelsea. Mm. And he's probably thinking, I'll oh, go back to Everton. But we'll see. Bosnian just says, stinks of El Ghazi if it's true. I, no, I, w- I wouldn't go that far. I think, I think, I do genuinely think he, he's a backup. And mm-hmm. we do need a backup left back. So he, there, there is, there is a. To me, it's more like a Sidibe. It's more like someone mm-hmm. who who's a backup who who could potentially get some games if needed, mm-hmm. and could come off the bench with with his, with having five. We don't like you know. <clears throat> that's another thing people have got to appreciate appreciate this season is that like when you look at the bench, the benches are going to be used in a in a different way. Mm-hmm. You know fat. If you bring if an, the opposition bring, team brings five players on, half of outfield side, that's and you bring on like one or two, you, your team's not going to be able to be, be able to compete physically in the in the in the latter stages of the game with that freshness. You're going to need to bring players on, um, you know, more more often now. So it's that's another new interesting dynamic I think about about the Premier League this season. You've got to have, you've got to be able to have those players on the bench. You can bring on and change your team a little bit. If you see it, if you're one of your players is flagging, you've got to be able to go right. I'll take him off. Look at like towards the back end of the last season with with Anthony Gordon. How many times he looked really tired towards the end of the mm. games? I don't think you can get away with that this season. I think this season, I think because 
opposition sides will go, well, we can bring another sub on and we can target that area. If he's tired, we'll put some fresh legs up mm. against them and we'll run him. So I think I think there is a slightly different dynamic this year. I think you've got to be able to have a player, for, uh, you know, a backup player who can definitely get him, you know, definitely come on and do a job. I look around Kunku and I just think to myself, if Mikhailenko had to go off and you're looking for a bit of tactical nous, someone who understands, I don't think he understands. Mm. I just think he gets, I think he gets caught up too much ball watching or wanting to go the other way. I don't I don't think he's got enough tactical mouse to play um as a left wing back or as a left back. Whereas uh, you know, this lad clearly they must feel like he has, or Kevin Fellwell knows him enough. I think he's got enough experience <coughs> excuse me to to play in that role when needed. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Lou says opposition fans always call us salty. Maybe we're getting a bit of vinegar. Isn't the worst idea uh, Alfie says, where's the money, Richie money gone, Bill? We're going down. Positive as always, eh, Alf? Uh, KSI says, it's uh, all big red media. Gerard has been poor a filler, spent millions, but as regard, there's an up and coming manager. And Tom says, club's got enough in the budget to improve the squad. Unfortunately, we're trying to bring in players for 17 to 25 million. Recruitment looking in the wrong bra- value bracket. Live within your means and start looking at players who'll cost around 10 to 15. Yeah, I agree, mate. I agree. There's players who Everton could get for around 10 million quid who changed the team. But we're still going in that bra- one bracket too high. Um. Yeah, Dave says, "What's wrong with Australia, boss?" It's miles away, Dave. It is miles, and it's got loads of spiders. It's loads of spiders, and it's miles away. It's like properly miles away. Like the, we've just done the flight home from America, and yet it still wasn't as long as what half a flight to Australia is, or like one of the legs to Australia is. So, uh, Adam Smith says, "You're being ridiculously harsh on Gilmore. There, he's miles better than Davies." His issue is that he isn't good enough to play for Chelsea because he's slight and needs to toughen up. So why do you play for Norwich? So he isn't suited to poor relegation threatened teams like Norwich. And that may well include us too. He needs to go to a team like Brighton. But Brighton aren't going to take him because he's not Mm. good enough for them. Why has no one else took him? He's available. He's a, he's a nice, tidy footballer, Adam. I'm not disputing that. But I, I just, when someone asked me why I didn't think we should get him, it's for the reasons that I've given. I don't think he's mobile enough. I don't think he's powerful enough. He might prove me wrong. Just what I've seen of him so far, he's not the kind of midfielder I think Everton should target. If you like him, that's fine. If you think he's good, I'm, it's only my opinion. I'm just saying, for me, he wouldn't be the type of midfielder that I would go after if I was Frank Lampard or Kevin Thelwell. That's just me. Um. Mark says we need a right back, a holding midfielder. We don't need a right back, do we? Holding midfielder, striker, left wing, and right wing. Okay, we don't need a right back, so that's out the window. Holding midfielder, totally agree with. Striker, totally agree with. Left and right wing, I don't think we need two wingers, maybe one. Um, contact says you boys jet lagged or majorly underwhelmed. <laughs> Probably a bit of both, really. Um. Jack Lad says and Kunku played left wing for me. No, I, just don't, don't think, I don't think he's good enough. I just don't think they'd give him. They'd put him there anyway and give him a go. Really? Um, so, Lampard doesn't want him. What can you do? Um, football matter said Tarkovsky looked old against Blackpool. Did he, yeah. I thought he was magnificent against Blackpool. Interesting. Um, and now we Tazul says Leicester haven't bought anyone yet. Uh, Satoshi says seems like no incomings until we get rid of Gomez, Gabamon, and either one of Keane or Holgate. Possibly. Mm. Well, Possibly. Gomez is an interesting one, isn't it? Because it looks like obviously he's not. He's not kick the ball and it looks like Everton are trying to get rid of him so yeah you know Everton of Everton are clear, looks like they're clearly um doing everything they can and putting the foot down and, and saying you know we don't want you you're not playing and that's the end of it so get yourself a move and get out of here mm. 
and it'll be interesting to see um, if they do that with a couple more in the next couple of weeks yeah, and yeah. just say you know you need to find yourself a new club if you want to play because you won't be playing for us it's as simple as that so um, at the moment it just looks like that might just be him but it'll be interesting to see whether it'll be others, other players as well in the next couple of weeks mm. yeah I agree Um John Pringle said Tarkovsky was man of the match against Blackpool. They had a good game. Pass him. Ned should up and do some work. Sorry. I'm just, he's like a chattering little kid in the yeah, background, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. Um, Alan says, Nice to see you boys back. Great show as always. What's happening with the Keane sale? Um just waiting for you have to pay the money, aren't they? There was reports yesterday they were ready to pay. I mean, thirty-two million is a lie because that's not the agreement mm. for a start. So don't know where that come from. But they haven't activated that clause yet, so I don't know where that came from. Um, some Italian journalists mm. trying to jump the gun. Right now they haven't activated the clause, so Let's see. Um. Jack says Niels has been playing, so he's clearly in his plans. I don't know. I don't know, mate. Not if they bring Vinagre in or whatever you want to call him. Vinagre. If he comes in, he's not going to be in his plans, is he? You have three left backs. Three left wing backs. So he's only got 12, 11 months left on his deal, so. Um, Anyone who's watched them can't genuinely believe he's good enough. I think he's got something, but I think. He's all he is all over the place. Like I just don't think I've said a couple of people say he was awful. I don't think he was awful. He was no worse than Patterson. He was no worse than Keane or Holgate or any of our midfield players. But it's could you trust them playing in the Premier League where players have got nous and drop in behind and all that? You probably couldn't. I mean, he, he's decent going the other way, but you can't negate the defensive side of a game. It's all right if you're bringing them on. In a four-three-three on the left wing, and you can't just saying just attack with pace and put balls in. That's that you know, and that's where, don't forget that's where he started. Mm. He was a left winger. Mm. Um, Chris says if Anthony Gordon wasn't one of our own, say he was Hungarian, for example. There hasn't been any really good Hungarian players for ages, has there? Um, would we be that bothered about losing? Yeah, I imagine we would. I think we would. I think I don't. But I don't. But on the flip side of that, I don't think we'd overhype him either, which a lot of people seem to do. Anthony Gordon, they overhype him. Um, but I'd still think we would be. We would want to keep hold of him and mm. want to um, see him push on this season, which is what we want to see anyway. So um, I don't think he's helped himself with that. Air. That's awful. Should they just come back with a shaved head? He cut some of it the other day. Oh, didn't it's he? awful. Come down the ditchy route. Uh, Gareth says, uh, as to whether we'll be in a relegation battle, I feel 100% we will unless we make some good signings quickly. We stayed up by a whisker and as it stands, we've been weakened. Unless the three come up are woeful or we bring in two or three quality signings, I'm afraid we're in the crap. Fair enough. Um, Adam says, I agree with you about Gilmore not being the type of player Everton should go for and just saying he's a good player with potential. You've both been very negative about him and making out he's poor. Two different. I it was Ped who spoke to be honest, but I don't rate him. I've seen him enough times not to rate him. Um, doesn't mean he doesn't become a good player or he is a good player. I just I don't see what the fuss is when I hear our fans saying like he'll be the one that can turn up. Like, I, I honestly don't see it. He's like a little child playing football. He's got to get bigger. He's got to toughen up a little bit. Um, when I watched Norwich last season and he was playing Matthias Norman was the one that stood out not him doesn't mean he can't be a really good player but I just I, I, right now I just think he's a, he's neat and tidy that's it do you think he's different that's fine no, no problem mate no problem whatsoever Barry says afternoon lads and page is it the jet lag or are you both deflated I don't know we just are we a bit down today don't know. I'm fine I you? feel knackered Um I am jet lagged today. Uh, Alfie says, "Can we not use the Richie money to replace him until we sell more?" But I think they're trying to spread the Richie money, mate, aren't they? But quite clearly, the players they want 
the the teams that trying to buy off don't want small down payments. They obviously want bigger ones. Maybe Everton are trying to spread it. We'll see. Um, uh, Mark says, uh, "Mark my words, we will end up with winks in the end." Last day desperation loan deal. Barkley on loan. Triori cheaper than ten million. Gomez will be loaned. We could not give him away. Hmm. Okay. Um. Connor says Neil is ain't good enough. He's not a defender, and we need to cash in. Tazil says Gordon is overrated. One trick pony, no end product. Uh. Joe Pringle says, for me, Gilmore is no better than Lewis Warrington. Um, are we here? Uh, of Keith says, uh, so people saying Gilmore is good, but saying he doesn't suit top teams or struggling teams. So just confirming he isn't good enough. Mm. Um, Paul says, seen a report that we're after uh, Yanazai. On a free, would you take him? We got asked this yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. He wouldn't be for me either, but mm. God knows. I don't know what, what Everton's... Um, what Everton's recruitment is. No idea. Mm. If they've got, if they've genuinely got no money, like if it's even worse than what everybody knows, then it's a case of try and get whatever you can pick up anything you can that's going to be a slight improvement and hope that you don't have injuries and hope that people like Dominic Calvert-Lewin score goals this season to keep and don't make mistakes make yourself hard to beat grind out results and stay away from any trouble and go again next summer if that's what it is um, I'm not convinced it's as bad as that but without us bringing anyone in so far it seems like it's bad so don't know. It's a tough one, like. Um, Trevor says, do you guys think that Delhi and Gordon have the potential to, to replace Richarlison in the aggregate? Between the two, I think they could produce more goals and assists. And progressive car- well, they've got to, haven't they, really? Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Yeah, you, it's going to be difficult because, I mean, Richarlison... To replace him, I mean, he's a player who went for sixty million. So to replace him, you're gonna need you're gonna need a lot, and we haven't got it. So you're gonna have to count on the people we've already got. And yeah, you, we're gonna need <coughs> Delhi Alley to step up massively this season, and and the same for Gordon. But Gordon has got to get in the right areas to to be able to put the ball back of the net. I think mm. he's at the at the moment he's not not necessarily doing that. He's got to be closer to the goal. Um, but it's always easier said than done saying in the aggregate because it's not always about in the aggregate it's the big moments in games so big moments that can be the difference in games so um, it'll be tough but if you haven't got anything else you're gonna have to we're gonna have to rely on them I think more the more games Delhi plays the better he'll be for us obviously I think coming on here and there obviously doesn't suit him he needs to play mm. games of football. And I think he will. I think he will play because I don't think there's much. There's much. Uh, there ain't many options. You can't imagine. I can't imagine him starting on the bench when no. you look at the squad we've got. It just. It just doesn't seem rational. It doesn't seem rational at all. There has to be a position in this t- in this team for Delhi. There has to be surely mm. with the players we've got. Otherwise, what's the point? What's the point? We might as well just get rid of him and not pay the the money we've got to pay mm. when he plays twenty games. So. Lou says, I wonder if Brozy could still be a realistic option with West Ham getting Shamaka. I really hope we're not going to shoot ourselves in the foot hanging on for players you were never going to get. I think probably the longer they hang on for Brozy, the more opportunity they're going to mm-hmm. get to sign him. I think quite clearly Everton won him. Mm-hmm. They've wanted him since last season, so they're still hanging in there. We'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, Adam says anything in the Guido interest, Guido Rodriguez from... Betis, she's mm. the that's the latest one, isn't it? We want forty million euros, twenty eight years, as well. It's yeah. just outrageous. Um, yeah. Mm. If that's the price, then obviously he's not coming no, here, is he? Yeah. 
don't know. I mean, he's it's bounced around from a couple of different places, so there'll be there might be something in it. Probably is probably his agent, but who knows? Inky Squid says hello, lads. Hello, mate. Um, Stephen Arnold says, "Will Everton have to rely on youth this season?" Mm, I imagine so. I think as the season goes along, the more experience some of the some of the players pick up, um, the likes of Dobbin, um, will be valuable. I don't think I don't I I personally don't think I think Lewis Warrington might need well. I don't think he might need. I think he he needs to have another loan, personally, and um, and then we've got to make decisions on some of the other players that we've seen playing, um, certainly in America and stuff. They've we've got to make decisions on them, but it's tough because the squad's not very big. Mm-hmm. And as I said before, with the five subs and the players we're trying to get rid of, doesn't leave you much room for for the squad. You know what I mean? You want you want a Gomez to go, but. If he doesn't, he's, is he going to sit? He'll be sitting on the bench. You, you know, Evan I think got, he'll go. Evan have got to be strong and, and try and push out the players that they definitely don't want. You know, and 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 then rely on maybe rely on those some of those kids to just fill out the squad, fill out the bench for some games. Mm. Um, and try and make the most of them. Try and make the most of them. They were stopping ten minutes to go. Whatever, get them on the pitch. Get them stretching teams. Maybe he wouldn't have done that before with obviously with three subs, but now it's five. Mm. Get them on there and try and start stretching the opposition. Um, yeah, certainly if we don't bring any too many more players in. Yeah, who knows? Uh, Jack lad says I do wonder sometimes why the club don't let you have any involvement. <laughs> Bit strange. You think in the future they'll let another channel have involvement? No, not a chance. Not a chance. Um, Steve says how mad is it by the way that we still haven't replaced Garner and he left three years ago surely the club realised Gabamon has no future here he's not fit for purpose we need to send CDMs yeah. Ralph says what does the Piv think I haven't heard from him for ages I think he's just the Piv's just give up hasn't he He's busy at the moment doing his own stuff, but he's just, he's never going to be happy with the way the recruitment is because none of us are, are Um, Where are we? Reese says, I joined Peyton last night and watched the season review video. Just want to say what a fantastic job on the video. Thanks, Reese. Welcome, Cheers, mate. Reece. Welcome. Um, Mark says, bring Brozier in on loan. Corney, do the deal and bring in two quality midfielders. Well, surely Corne, if we bring this lad in, Corne will be less of, you know, there'll be less chance of bringing him in, surely. He's a forward, though, isn't he? No, but he's still, he's left side, like a left wing back, though, isn't he? You know, he can play in that position. Why not go out there and get get him then if you're going to, if you want that position filled? I know he's not a left back, but. God, who knows, mate? Who knows? Um, Lou says, honestly, maybe this is exactly what Delhi needs to press your responsibility of being the main man. Might get him back. Um, Barry says, Ped, I thought I'd send you the goals because you didn't see them in America. The volley from my little magician Bailey got us on our way for the lead title. Personal favourite because it's my lad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Grant says, The way we're linked with Wolves players, past and present, I think Thelwell might change our name to Everton. Wonders. Steve Bull, going Steve in for him. Well, well, we haven't Steve actually Bull. signed a single Wolves player. We're going in for Steve Bull, apparently. There you go. Get him. You were the net and, and Goodman. You knew whether Don Goodman? No, he was. He wasn't good enough. He wasn't good enough. <laughs> right, we're done. Hit the like button on the way out if you don't mind. Join us uh, on Patreon if you want to. On Premier, rather, if you want to. The links in the description. You can scan the barcode and um, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.